once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. This is a very spur of the moment video. I didn't expect to be making this today. Uh, basically, as you guys know, I love collecting Halo Mega Constructs and Jazzware as well. And I've been getting a lot of hauls in recently. It's all amounted to uh, a really large Pretty shocking amount of stuff. And full disclaimer, this is not even my entire collection. I still have all my Halo Infinite stuff separately, my own personal collection, my Halo Combat Evolved, Halo 3. This is kind of just spare stuff. And this is from all different parts of the internet. Originally, I didn't think I was gonna make this video today, but I got it all out, I set it aside, and I was like, I need to show the community this because this is wild. So without further ado, here is the, the collection. Jeez. <laughs> oh man, that's actually so much stuff. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here is the haul. This is about five months worth of stuff. Disclaimer, there are a lot of things here that are going to be showed off in separate haul videos. I got a Jazzware haul video coming soon. I got a haul of some of these other major sets coming soon. But I just wanted to put this all together and show you today just to get the scale of it, right? Like, this is just so funny to show off. It's outrageous how much stuff there is here. Outrageous. So we're going to start from left to right, I guess. And we're just going to work our way across and I'll explain some of the details here and let me reiterate this is not even everything I've got a lot more just scattered around the house so let's start over here we've got the Spartan collection Jerome and Jun I managed to actually pick both of these up in targets the Jerome was the special surprise to me because that has been really difficult for collectors to get but the Jun I've actually seen in quite a lot of targets now I mean it's the brand new wave unfortunately the only one that I mean the most desirable to me is that Yoroi never been able to to find it, but hopefully one of these days. The Jerome was a big surprise though, going all the way back to series two, and that Emil is also a very special one. I also managed in a GameStop sale to bag the Emil as well. So I got Jun and Emil. I'm still undecided if I'm gonna bother collecting all of Noble Team. It's quite an expensive thing to get, but I think they are certainly going to increase in value a lot in the future, but also just a really cool collectible. So I have three of the Spartan collection right now, and that is every Spartan collection figure I own. Then we're gonna move on to something really, really special. I'm excited about these. They are ODST drop pods, and these were scored for from a guy called Mega Chief Constructs Creator. Two of these, we've got the Ocean Breaker and Guillotine, and then another Ocean Breaker and Guillotine, Operation Bronze Cobra, and Flood Hunter. So they're all really exceptional. I don't own any of these, and the Flood Hunter is the one I was looking forward to the most. I mean, just clearly from the color and design, that flamethrower as well. So I'm eventually gonna do individual reviews of these. I'm excited for new painted weapons, and of course, ODSTs, you know. If you know this channel, ODSTs are my absolute jam, so I'm really excited about all of these. Thank you very much, Mega Chief Constructs Creator, and I'm gonna do a separate haul with his stuff as well in the future. Just $5, I found this on eBay. It's one of the exclusive figures from SDCC, New York Toy Fair. Wherever you want, they were, they were given out at a lot of different events, and there's been different figures every year. I am trying to collect one of every single one, so I managed to bag this alongside a load of others as well. These are really special. ODST Mickey from the NMPD Pelican. Just a really, really rare figure, and something that I'm very happy happy to have sealed. Very cool indeed. And this as well, the NMPD Pilot, also from the NMPD Pelican. So the only figure I'm missing is the Officer because I got the Chieftain from another guy on Facebook, so I'm really close to having the full set of figures. Then over here we've got the Marine Platoon Pack and Banished Garrison Pack. I intend to do a dual review at some point where I can show off both of them in England. They're mirror images of each other, so I just wanted to do a video with both in. Then we've got, <laughs> we're moving on to the big boys now. This is the stuff of legends truly. This is the Faithful versus Fallen. I managed to bag two of these in my Mega Constructs Hall of Legends back in Hong Kong. I got them from a really cool website, really cool guy actually. Particularly those two Emils I'm looking forward to opening. I sent one back to England and I'm going to open one in the next few days. We've got the dual mode Warthog. This was funny because in a video, in a live stream actually, I was building this and then our internet cut out in the building. So it was RIP to the dual Warthog live stream. And then talking about more epic figure packs, we've got the Outlands Skirmish. 
Oh, it's such a good set. Those Spartans as a team, we've never really got six Spartans that are all color coordinated. Like that's really special. All of these are old articulations, so not as desirable. That brute always has terrifyingly white eyes. But two skirmishes, even in old articulation, are fun. The Outland skirmish comes with some dope weapons. Like I'm still really happy to get that. But the one that I'm most excited about is this Ultimate Battle Collector Pack. This thing is so legendary. I haven't seen one of these sealed in about six years. It's all old articulation. This one has a Target exclusive sticker. I don't know if this ever came out in England. It might have been in a couple of TK Maxx stores. We have TK Maxx instead of TJ Maxx. It's the same brand, but different name. So I don't know when that came out exactly, but it was just such a cool set. And that half translucent AC EOD is amazing. The bio showing the Halo 3 figures. The Actual renders from the games dope and then we've got some classic zombie sets as well a classic staple of this channel is the defense point showdown I've mentioned this in just so many videos I got three of them baby three defense point showdowns not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with them yet I'm gonna give that alt build a try we got some random halo heroes here mostly series 12 back in the day Best Buy had a $1 halo hero sale so I picked some up the jackal freebooters I got from Target a little while ago just found those two lying around then we've got a Spartan Hoya. I know this is one of the most legendary Halo heroes, so I thought I'd put this in the lot. This was from the same guy that I bought this Faithful vs. Fallen from. We got one Warthog Rally left. I bought a load of these and gave them away for the Christmas Toymation Fest. This is the last one. I'm probably gonna keep this sealed for now. People always ask me, Simon, do you keep your set sealed? It totally varies, to be honest with you. Like, like usually the only ones I'll keep sealed are ones that have figures on the outside. This is a very damaged box, but I have a mint condition version of this, and I'll definitely keep it sealed but when it's just packaging you may as well just take the figures or the set out and then keep the packaging like reseal it with some tape why not keep it on down the halo hall train something you can sink your teeth into here the brute weapon customizer pack and spartan 3 customizer pack very very cool sets the number one for me which i've still never got hold of is the odst customizer pack but Shere khan industries actually managed to bag that for me recently so i'll get that in the mail soon and you need more than one of these we got two of each because they are just so great. Actually, we got three of each. One of each I'm keeping. I'm not really selling anything in America like I did in England and Hong Kong. I'm just traveling here, but I'm still buying a lot of stuff. Like, you can't stop me from buying. All right, we've got some exosuits here. The banished exosuit times two, Skyfire times two, and one Mark One prototype. I actually unboxed a couple of these with Kellen. These ones and the Brute and Spartan 3 customizer packs are from Dollar General. And a couple of months ago, there was a buy one, get one free sale at Dollar General for Halo like it was really great and Dollar General it was buy one get one free so we got the UNSC Marine Defense and the only thing that was left to match it with was this Black Ops 4 standoff so I managed to just pick this up I thought why not uh, it'll find some use eventually we got some Jazzware here the Elite Mercenary the Jackal Raider which apparently I mean it's called Jackal Freebooter in Mega Constructs but Jackal Raider and Jazzware I don't know and Hyperius with a Ravager Hyperius is like one of the most common figures now because because he's in the three pack with Tavares and the Master Chief. Really happy to have that Elite particularly. Like the Elite design for Halo Infinite is just gorgeous. So happy to have it, happy to have it. Then look at this, we've got the Spartan 4 Battle Pack. This is a very old set. And this was probably just when new articulation was coming in. You've got Halo 4 designs here. The Gungnir, the Mark 6, a Grunt Imperial and an AC Jackal. I also really like how they actually put it in AC. That's a very cool photo edit. These old school stands were like, like I have so many of that Halo plaque that just came with all these random battle packs. All right, where are we going now? We've got this bag here. It says fire teams on it. Well, I wonder what's inside here. Oh, ho, ho. this was from a really cool guy on eBay and these are 100% complete. Old Halo 4 fire teams. I just thought, why not? You guys will really enjoy a review of these one day. I know this one's Venom. I don't know the names of the others right now. This is probably Crimson. This is the best one. Five Halo 4 Marines. The fact that the Halo 4 5 Marine design is now getting uh, the new Marine job in the Elephant comes with removable helmets. I'm really excited about that. But you can never have enough Halo 4 Marines. There was one time I bought a hundred of them in Hong Kong. That was a legendary purchase. In this box here, we've got a Funko Pop. Ho ho ho. There we go. 
Nice. The Spartan Mark 7 with Commando Rifle. This is the special one because it comes with a downloadable code for Halo Infinite. All right, we're moving away from Mega Constructs, but don't worry, there is more to come. This is the Gun Goose. I picked this up a while ago. There was a promotion at Target where if you bought any Halo, you got a new armor coating in game. So I really just jumped on that. But this next Jazzware set, if it's already caught your eye in this video, I know you're going to be intrigued. It's the Warthog with Arbiter and Master Chief. There have been a ton of new Jazzware reveals that I've not even had time to cover. There's so much going on right now. Jazzware is still crushing it. And this is a GameStop exclusive. The artwork on the back is just gorgeous. I remember covering this months ago when it was first revealed. It's cool to see it in my hands now. Who likes blind bags? I know we all like blind bags. This is a full set of Bravo series, mint condition from the factory. Inside is one of the gummy figures. I don't know whether it's the blue JFO or the red honor guard. But yeah, full set of Bravo series and behind that a full set of Warrior series. Warrior is actually pretty hard to come by now. Stormbound is the most difficult out of that set, but Warrior is still dope. I'm hoping for some Promethean soldiers for sure. I want more Halo 4 red marines. The others are okay, but that gummy Atriox. I know there's at least one gummy Atriox per box and I bought two of these Warrior boxes and two of these Bravo boxes, which you can see in separate haul videos. All right, Jazzware, moving on, moving on. We've got this box here. What's inside here? There was a video I did around Christmas time where I opened 24 Halo Infinite Series 3 blind bags. I think it was 24, maybe 32, whatever a full box is. I bought a full box and opened them. It was a pretty legendary video. So I got a full box of them. This is the Chieftain from the NMPD Pelican that I received recently in a fan mail video. And these are some custom Flood and a custom Avery as well. Looking forward to having them on my display in England for sure. A load of micro wasps in there another USA Avery, which is just beautiful to go alongside my Hong Kong and my England Avery, and then all of my Halo 2 Monkey Army. I can't remember how many I've got, maybe about 12 at this point. Then there's some other stuff I've just been opening recently, like my Half AC Predator, Sam Fish is in there, some of the Borderlands characters. It's just a random assort. It's just a, it's just a box of fun, you know? Just a box of fun. This is also a pretty big box of fun. Whoa. This is Halo Universe Series 1 Blind Bags. We've got a full set there. Yeah. Then we've got a full set here as well. Really dope series. These were sent to me by Kevin Hurd at Halo Collector, including some patches, some Halo Wars 2 stickers, and the production box for Series 1 Halo Universe. I love collecting the boxes. And under here, whoa. Jaeger Adomni versus the Spartan Mark 7 with a shock rifle and that blade. Whoa. Jaeger Adomni was just announced in Halo Mega Constructs. He's going to come with the Banished Phantom. I'll have a little father and son photo reunion once I have Jaeger from both Mega Constructs and Jazzware. Kevin Hurd at Halo Collector being dope as always. And we're not even finished. We got these boxes here. This is a He Man uh, Masters of the Universe Mega Constructs set and then a Jazzware. Master Chief versus Brute Chieftain. We've got another couple of Jazzware sets in there. I'm not even covering the biggest thing yet. We're moving on to the buildable Needler. This was purchased from a Target just when it first came out. I had to actually get someone to check the back. It wasn't even on the store shelf, even though I saw online it was available. So I'm happy to get that. Still unsure what I'm gonna do with it. It's a massive piece count, but it's it's gotta be displayed in England for sure. I mean, that, that, that has to be the play. And the final thing for today, like the buildable Needler, we've got the buildable N energy sword, but this time we've got one, two, three, four, five. Five buildable energy swords. Me and Callan have some huge projects in mind for these. We're gonna build one of them each and then sword joust. We're gonna build some extra large massive energy swords. I got some really cool projects in mind with those and I got them for a really nice price. <laughs> so let me know what you think of this haul. How would you rate it out of 10 and why is it 100? <laughs> Just so much has been going on. You know, I've been traveling around America, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, Illinois, just having a really great time. Along the way, I've found some Halo. You know, I've just been uh, just been finding some nice Halo just as I go. You know, another box of Warrior there. We've got some Halo Heroes. We got loads of Halo Infinite. Actually, this is a mix. We got Halo Combat Evolved there. 
We've got Halo 3 there. Then another box of Bravo series, turret takedown, the sword base invasion. We've got loads more special blind bags. I'm keeping them separate for my rare blind bag opening part three. A set of the metallic drop pods, some more Spartan customizer packs, more rare blind bags of different convention exclusives. Man, let me tell you, it's just so much. I'm actually shocked. It's the first time I've been in a country that stocks Halo properly in about, I mean, since distribution was in the UK, which was a long time ago. I also receive a lot of messages nowadays. I want to address the fact that a lot of people from the UK are complaining about distribution in my videos, which I totally get. Bringing distribution back to the UK is pretty much one of my core goals over the next few years. Like I really do want to make an impact. I've got two of these stickers, Hot Wheels Halo Collector stickers. These were sent to me by Kevin Hurd at Halo Collector. If you would like to win one of these, simply comment down below saying Halo forever. And I'll pick two of the winners in the next couple of days to send one of these warthogs to free of charge. So thank you very much for tuning in today. This was another video with The Domain. I really hope you enjoyed this haul being shown off. I'm gonna go into more detail with some of this haul in the future. I got, uh, I'm gonna segment it off. I got a haul with all of the jazzware to show. I'm gonna do that one with Kellen. And then I've got another haul with a load of the stuff that Mega Chief Constructs creator sent. If you haven't heard of him before, please do make sure to follow him. He's a really great guy. And I'll include his information at the bottom of this video. You stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks. The Domain is signing off.